As a high school teacher, my students aren't able to get real cadaver experience, so that's something we're really lacking. Our students wanted hands-on experiences with anatomy, which is hard to do when we are teaching minors, so that has really filled the void for us. My seventh year in a row at the conference, and I'm always excited to see what's coming up on the tables and then also seeing what current teachers and instructors are using. It's very unique at the Natamash conference that we have ninth grade teachers that teach in ninth grade all the way up to you know, teaching medical school. When my first time students enter my lab with the table, they all want to know what is that thing over there. I engage them from day one. I think it creates some excitement for them. First day we used the table, one of my students said, this is the best day ever. So that was a good start. And I just love seeing the passion and the enthusiasm. My students gain so much from seeing an actual human cadaver and how those structures look compared to the images that we get from a textbook. It's just so nice to tell them this isn't actually what it looks, but try to learn from it as opposed to us being able to use the table and saying, this is an actual cadaver. You will actually see one look like this. The greatest benefit to our students is that ironically, it allows them to fail with confidence. And so it takes away this intimidating factor. It's okay if I nick this artery or if I cut this muscle or dissect this organ. I can just press the undo button and try again. And we found that that allows them to move forward way more confidently compared to traditional cadaveric dissection. My colleagues and I utilize the table in all kinds of aspects of our curriculum. They're able to see what the joints look like and the tissues look like, as opposed to just imagining or looking at textbook pictures. We know the national average is very poor in terms of losing students to A&P around 30 to 40 percent. Our institution was even losing upwards of 60 percent of our students. We redid our curriculum, the anatomage table being a significant piece of that and consistently for the past three years we have hovered around losing only about 10 percent. So that's a significant change for our programs. Within our shops, we have a lot of crossover too with anatomical terms, but we also go over concepts that are a little difficult to explain without a hands-on explanation. In my classroom has evolved with the tape. What I first started was very introductory rope memorization, identify the muscles, bones, structures, all of that. And then over the past seven years, now it's, I've forced my students into higher level thinking. So if this is the cardiovascular system, Let's look at some case studies having to do with cardiovascular conditions. What part of the heart is damaged or what part of the cardiovascular system is damaged? How would you treat it? What would the signs and symptoms look like for the patients? So instead of them just looking at structure, it's more so what are signs and symptoms? What are diseases related to? And what would a human feel like if they had that condition? So it's really pushed them to a higher level of thinking. One of the biggest meaningful changes that I've seen is that with use of anatomage, it allows the students to be an active participant in the learning process. They're no longer just sitting in the back watching the sage on the stage. They're participating with me as they're learning and teaching each other the things that they've learned. It's better than a textbook, much, much better than a textbook, much, much better than a computer, which is flat in 2D. And I think it helps them visualize systems as a whole which helps with their understanding and learning of health concepts. Well, most of our students are hands-on students. That's why they come to our school. That's what the table gives them, and that's their best way of learning. This will allow them to get some of the functional stuff too. They can see the beating heart and how the muscles and the bones and the joints move. So, so many possibilities. Our anatomy table definitely has that wow factor. So whenever we have our new students coming in, they're like, what is that? Well, we get to play with that. Like, of course, get in there, you know, start using it. We want our students to have their own autonomy, control their own education, decide what they're interested in, really tailor it for their learning because that projects into their career paths in the future. We can really reach a lot of students uh, with this technology to, you know, enhance their education. But the science table is really interesting. We love the kind of gamified learning experiments that they have on there. I really liked uh, a lot of the like genetics type experiment. DNA, um, protein synthesis, you know, these, these concepts are things that can be really hard for students to visualize because they're processes, they're not static things. So when they look at pictures in a book, you're only getting a snapshot, but when you can see how these things are happening, you can really get an idea for 
the process as a whole. I absolutely loved this conference. This was by far the best conference I've ever been to. The technology is above and beyond anything I've ever seen. It would be great in anybody's facilities.